Speaking of traveling Wilburys, this crazy, I don't think I told you about this thing that happened like a year ago when I was. Um, Were you asked to be in the, the traveling, the traveling Wilburys? Wilburys? <laughs> I was promoting uh, Big Little Lies and I was doing uh, Colbert, right? And, you know, when you're doing a, t- a talk show, you try and come up with stories and w- bits or whatever that you can do to fill the time on the on the talk show, right? So I'm trying to think of stuff to to talk about. And I come up with this idea of of comparing Big Little Lies with saying that like Big Little Lies is the traveling Wilburys of <laughs> TV shows. Because and, it has so many like Yeah, iconic- so many like superstars and comparing each traveling Wilbury with one of the female stars of so Nicole Kidman who who is that I is did that? I had it all lined up it was a uh, uh Reese was Tom Petty Nicole was Dylan um, maybe wait or Harrison I would say Dylan or Harrison Nicole Kidman was George Harrison I think yeah from talking um Nights. Meryl Streep was Bob Dylan she's Dylan she's obviously Dylan yeah um Laura Dern was Roy Orbison because Roy Orbison was the one that everyone in the Traveling Wilburys looked was like, up to. Yeah, they're like, can you believe we're fucking in a band with Roy Orbison? And Laura yeah. Dern is such a great actress. That yes, like. and totally. And uh, yeah, George Harrison was Nicole Kidman because Nicole Kidman was in Days of Thunder. I think that was my reasoning. Mm-hmm. And and. Uh, Shailene and Zoe Kravitz were both Jeff Lynn because they he was share like, Jeff Lynn. He was like the secret weapon that w- might be, you know, s- s- the, the best more, one or whatever yeah, it was. Better than all the rest, perhaps, and perhaps the most right. uh, r- responsible for the success of the group. Yeah. So I had this all mapped out and I and I pitched it to the Colbert show and they loved it. And, they, and I and I asked them if they if they could even mock up like the yeah their faces on the the on the album cover right oh okay and so they did that and so i go on colbert and we run out of time and at the end but i'm so preoccupied with it because i'm trying to memorize like what each one was and not forget and so the whole interview the (laughs) the whole interview (laughs) i'm like preoccupied with this and then we run out of time and so afterwards he's like Oh man! So next time we'll get to this, and he pulls up. He had the album cover there with all the ladies' right. faces. Like, so a couple months later, I'm doing uh, Corden, and I'm like, "Oh shit! I can do the traveling Wilburys thing on on Corden." And so go through the whole thing. I pitch it, and then they mock up the album cover. So I'm <laughs> on Corden, and he's like, "Okay, so you have this traveling Wilburys thing," and I'm on there with Mindy Kaling too. She's the other guest, and you're all on together. I'm like, "Oh yeah." Uh, so traveling, well, and I kind of launch into this thing and right away, right away, it's abundantly clear that no one in the audience <laughs> knows who the traveling Wilburys are. They just don't. This is just, more of a Colbert bit. Right. Exactly. <laughs> His audience would love this. Yeah, exactly. So I go through the whole thing and it takes so fucking long. Like it uh, feels like it's like an hour, but once you start you can't. Yeah, you can't just abandon it and say like, uh, right. "There's no Jeff Lynn." Right. So Mindy's kind of politely smiling through the whole thing. James is kind of looking at me like, "Dude, shut the fuck yeah. up, you dumb <laughs> shit." The whole I have to get through the whole thing. You so I get dumb the- shit. Get in my car and sing karaoke. Right. So I get through the whole thing, and it's not great. And the audience. P- was politely chuckling. I had to stop and explain who the traveling Wilburys are. It was, it was terrible. So after the show, we ask them, like, can you just not put that in the show? Because I was doing Conan like a week later, and I'm like, this is perfect for be Conan. better on Conan. Yeah. <laughs> so they, I, I don't think it took much convincing for them to cut it out of their show. <laughs> you said, would you please? And they said, done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're like, we had already done that. So <laughs> they don't use it. I go to Conan. Same thing. They v- generously mock up the album cover for me. <laughs> so you have three of these three album of covers. At this point. So I go on Conan. Which one was the best mock up, by the way? If uh, you were... I think Colbert, it, from what I remember, it was the actual like record that right, they had right. with it. Okay. But, but they were all uh, wonderfully uh, similarly ill-conceived and 100% mock 
my idea. So I go on Conan and, you know, halfway through the interview or whatever, Conan's like, so what's this about, you know, uh, the traveling Wilburys? And, <laughs> and I launch into it and it goes way worse than no! it did on <laughs> on on Co- on uh on uh Corden. On they Corden. all have such similar names. It's hard to Corden S- Conan. Come on, guys. So immediately right when I start, it's it is silent, Ugh. right? Cuz when it really comes down to it, the audiences for these things are all kind of the same. It's yeah, just they're tourists. all like rando tourists who are like, Ooh, they're waiting show? out in the sun and they don't remember yeah. the traveling Wilbur. And it's not like the traveling Wilbur. People in the sun don't remember traveling Wilbur. No, the sun sucks the Wilbur. They're a moon out band. Of but it's not like the Wilburys have been kept afloat culturally. It is only <laughs> people like 40 and up who even remember. I mean, remember you got who Jenny Lewis doing a cover of Handle with Care 12 that's years about the ago. Of right. it. Yeah, exactly. So. Boy, I started so long you had to take a sip of water just to get through uh, it. Coffee uh, to keep myself awake. <laughs> so I start and it's even quieter. And I make a joke about if you're not 2000 years old, you don't know the traveling Wilburys. And I start going into this and it's 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 like the audience is way less polite than it's eating something that ate shit than Corden. Yeah, it it's awful. And. I stop and and make a joke about how terrible this bit is. And Conan and Andy are like laughing along with me at how shitty it is. And we make bits about how bad it is. But I do go through the whole thing and it's awful. And I was really like embarrassed and felt badly that Conan was like letting me do this bit because usually I bring bits on or I try to bring bits on. And sometimes they're they're always better than that or had always been better than that. Anyway, we get done with it and I ask them ask the sick producer if they would please not uh, air that. And he was like, yeah, we're already there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so there we is... We talked to Corden's people already. <laughs> there is... St- yeah, exactly. There is still the lost uh, Big Little Lies traveling Wilburys bit that has yet to... You got it. So you got to swing back around and do this on Colbert. <laughs> I know. And, I really do. And then tell this story that you just told on Corden and Conan. Oh man. And you know what? After the Conan bit, I realized like it's it it it's not funny. It's not culturally relevant, obviously, and that's part of what was maybe going to be funny about it, but it was so culturally irrelevant that people just didn't know what I was talking about. But I think also, that, here here's how I would here's how I would punch it up. Instead of putting them all on one album cover together, you want to see them one at a time. You want to see essentially like if you're saying Meryl Streep is Dylan. You want to you want to say that, and then up comes a picture of Bob Dylan wearing his like flat hat or whatever his bolo hat with yeah. the beard, and then put Meryl Streep's face onto his face, and do that one at a time, yeah. and you'll get five laughs. See, that's what I what, what I should because rather than having them mock up a thing and then them just like and then you just pop explaining it up. for a long time. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I should have had a card with a famous photo of each of them. Yes, with, and they yes. get more ridiculous. And and then you split Zoe Kravitz and the other person in half when that's it comes right. to Jeff Lynne. But, but the put thing the Jeff is, Lynne beard on both. The fatal flaw in the entire thing is that my the entire premise. The comedy premise was based on everyone knowing exactly who the Traveling Wilburys were and how funny it was. The Each kind of comparison wasn't even that funny. It was all depending on how funny it is to compare th- these iconic actresses with to, Traveling Wilburys. Yes. But no one knows who the Traveling Wilburys were, at least in these audiences. So there was no way, no matter how many pictures I had, it was going to work. But it, But you're right. If I had just kind of shifted the premise... It would have. Mm. I think the fatal flaw here is, is that you have a bad brain. And yeah, that it was just terrible funny. to begin with. And I tried it three times. <laughs> you never learned your fuck. Like, did they, did Colbert really run out of time? Exactly. For that bit? You know, exactly. or, is he, or is he actually being way kinder to you than Corden and Conan is? Exactly. Did he know, like, Corden, not only Colbert, do I. Conan, God, guys, come on, cut it out. Not only do I barely find this funny, my audience is really not going to think this is funny. <laughs> 